attention, Cook Rapids High School, you have a state level storyteller in your midst. Last Friday, junior Micah Allen placed second in the Section 5 AA speech tournament and advanced as the state tournament that will be held on April 23rd. Congratulations, Micah. CR Cheerleading is hosting open gyms for anyone that would like to try stunting and tumbling on April 6th and 8th, 3.30 to 5, and April 10th, 11 to 1, in the lower gym at CRHS. No obligation, just have fun. Waivers must be signed before participation and can be found outside Miss Lacey's office. Save the date for the Senior All-Night Party Class of 2021. June 6, 2021, more details to come. Look for registration soon. $75 for a fun evening of games, prizes, bowling, pictures, and best of all friends. We all know this past year has been a rough time for many. Are you wishing you could just sit back and relax, have a cup or two of cocoa, grab a blanket, and enjoy yourself? Well, we got the perfect thing for you. Watch your fellow students cultivate their talents and connect with one another at Open Mic Night, hosted by CRHS Student Council in collaboration with Miss Andrea and or Miss Snow on April 22nd. We are currently looking for talent to showcase, including the following singing, original mixing of a song, rapping, spoken word poetry, and dancing. If you have any other ideas, please let us know. Spots are limited, so please apply today. A member of Student Council or an advisor will reach out about a future meeting. All applications are due Wednesday, April 7th. Consider supporting our community. Food and gift card donations are needed for the Cardinal Food Shelf. The food shelf is staffed by student workers who prepackage boxes and backpacks of food for students and families to take home as needed. The Cardinal Compassion Fund is used to help students and families that have difficulty participating in the CRH com community due to socioeconomic factors. Funds have been used for partial payments for expenses related to participating in school events, activities, and material costs for classroom projects. The fund has also assisted families in crisis checks, can be written to AHEF with Cardinal Compassion Fund identified as a recipient on the MEMA line. Contact Christine Patton, school social worker, at 763-506-7133 for more information and to request assistance with these resources. Sophomores. Want to earn a college degree? Looking for free support and personalized coaching? Applications are open for College Possible High School Class of 2023. College Possible is a national college access and success organization with over 20 years of experience supporting students as they earn their college degrees. If you still need help with plan after high school, please reach out to the career and college specialist, Ms. Mitchulis, aka Chewy, either by email or stopping in the Career Center in room 203. She is happy to help. That's all we have for you today, Cardinals. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. So we're happy to have Gavin in the studio with us. And Gavin, uh, first of all, thanks for being with us and congratulations on getting that state championship. Thank you, thank you. Uh, first of all, obviously last year, uh, you went undefeated until the, the championship match. Um, what, was, what kind of motivation was that for you to come back and get the job done this year? It wasn't more. It wasn't really motivation. More is just to realize that not everything's a given, and that you have to work for everything. You know, the obvious differences in this year versus last year, the pandemic, and and the fact that you you, you were fortunate to win that the state term. Where you fortunate in the fact that that you lost that one where you felt you shouldn't have last year, and then you came back and and you won it this year. Certainly, congratulations. Besides those two differences, talk about last year versus this year and how it's been different for you in your run to the state championship. Um, this year, I felt like I was a lot more dominant throughout the season. I didn't really have that many close matches as I did last year. And I just just kept my eyes on the prize and kept moving. Obviously, the, the state tournament, the whole 
uh, the way they did it with the super section uh, was very different this year. And then you get when you get to the state tournament, it's only an eight man tournament. Uh, but the the big difference, obviously, no fans in the stands like there were last year. Uh, did that change uh, kind of how how exciting it was or no? Yeah, for sure. Like even when I when we first got to the tournament, I was like, this doesn't even feel like a state tournament. It feels like another weekend tournament. But it's, it was still the same atmosphere as far as, like, the, the wrestlers in the back of the room. But it was really weird. We didn't even get to watch other matches. And it, obviously, uh, you know, you've, you've uh, done a lot of wrestling outside of the high school program. Um, how important is that to your success as far as uh, what you're able to do in the off season? Oh, it's it's uh, that is the only reason I'm successful is because I wrestled so much. It's like getting a whole nother year of wrestling from outside of the high school season. It was just that I wouldn't have been a state champ without it. This was a very different year, quite obviously, with the pandemic. Talk a little bit about, you know, what the wrestling team, what you guys had to do and the precautions you had to take match after match and, and things that you needed to do to make sure everybody stayed safe. We just needed everyone to keep their masks on to be smart outside of the wrestling room, not go and hang out with their friends all the time and stuff and think about if I get it, then we really get shut down like we did. Yeah, and, and you know, throughout the year, obviously, you know, you got, I think it was fourth practice in when you had that, uh, had to hit pause. Um, you know, throughout the, the season, how concerned were you that you may not be able to get the season finished and get that state tournament in? Oh, I was really concerned. I just hoped made sure everyone was safe and smart and there were some hiccups in the way but we got through it now obviously a two sport athlete you're also a uh, captain for the both the football and the uh, uh, wrestling team uh, what comes next for you um i'm going to augsburg next year i'm going to wrestle and play football there um i might actually throw track this summer or this spring i'm not sure about that one yet Talk, talk a little bit about, you know, now that your, your high school career is pretty is close to being over and you're going to move to the next level. Talk about some of the things that uh, you look back on and some of the things that you'll miss, uh, you know, once your high school career is over. Well, the things I'll miss are just the people I've met in the, the family community at Coon Rapids. I've never really felt that before, and it, that's what I'll miss the most. And I just look back on all the good memories that we had. Obviously, uh, you you know had some great success. Uh, part of that football team that made the run uh, to the U.S. Bank, uh, a state runner-up as a junior in in uh, wrestling, a state champion as a senior. Uh, now you, as you mentioned, you're taking uh, both sports to the next level at at Augsburg. Uh, talk about what a challenge it's going to be to to try and compete at the next level in two sports. Uh, it's going to be challenging, just a lot of dedication and hard work to keep it going. Just uh, just, uh, just play, I don't know. You know, I, obviously you've got, you've got great coaches here, you know, both on the football program and in the wrestling program. Talk about a little bit about uh, how, how the coaches are helping you in your advance to that next level. Well, they have just tremendous support, always asking me what I'm doing and talking about situations and where I want to be and what I want to, to have in college and the type of community I want to be around. Well, we are uh, certainly happy to have had you uh, here in the, on the show today. Congratulations again on uh, the state championship. Uh, we wish you all the success in the world at the next level, and we'll definitely be watching. Please uh, keep us posted with, uh, with all of the success that I'm sure you'll have. Thank you.